Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Demi, and this video is sponsored by Blue Bonnet Vitamin B12. Just kidding. I wish um, I bought those yesterday because no one cares. Um, so I don't know. I just want to make a little video because wow, the light is like no light here. Kind of looks like holy it almost looks like there's this and then it's like i wanted to talk a little bit about staying present and loneliness and feeling whole i feel like so many people throw that terminology around like being whole like being a whole person you can't give yourself to another person unless you are whole and like that kind of thing i've been thinking a lot about loneliness <laughs> I'm just like trying to find a community here in yeah. Vegas and I feel like I don't know why but for some reason being in Vegas I've become a lot more like willing and open to meet new people and I've like kind of come out of my shell a little bit and I've been more just like wanting to meet different kinds of people and like people I couldn't really care I could not be bothered to meet someone new in San Diego like I really didn't want to or care more so just out of pure boredom and loneliness that I would want to meet someone in San Diego it got me thinking about something that my friend told me a couple months ago um, and it was like a really beautiful sweet message and she basically was talking about um, she channeled it from up there the clouds I don't know whatever people want to call it and it was basically like imagine being a ballerina and you're a ballerina but you don't like the fact that you're a ballerina you don't like the fact that you love ballet you don't think it's cool to like ballet you think that makes you lame and a loser and so you go hang out with a bunch of faceball dudes because everyone knows face what did i say faceball what did i say just now the words you hang out with a bunch of football dudes because everyone knows that football is cool because it's like society has just deemed football is cool and it is cool i guess I don't know, I don't watch it, but <laughs> football's cool, right? So a ballerina is like, I don't really feel good enough, I don't feel cool, so I'm gonna go hang out with a bunch of football dudes and I'm gonna grunt and spit and talk like them and go hang with the dudes, the football dudes, and and put on kind of like a show or play that role. But then when, what ends up happening is you don't feel like you fit in. Maybe you feel even more like a loser because you feel like you have to try really hard. Um, you feel lonely and you're always gonna feel bored and you just don't feel right. And so um, the message was basically just like, if you are not yourself, you're always gonna feel bored and you're always going to be lonely because if you're not yourself, you can't do what it is that you came here to do. If, if someone has a soul and their soul is supposed to be going to chiropractic school, but they're stuck you know, at home doing something else and they don't enjoy it, there's gonna be a piece of them that's always gonna feel down or like they're missing out on something. It's like, if you feel like you're missing out, if you, if you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's probably because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Like, there's a reason you don't like what you do. I was at church this morning and Pastor Marty was, I love saying that, Pastor Marty. He was talking about how, you know, just like feeling, present and being present is like the one resource that every single person shares and it's just become really apparent over the past 19 years how everyone has presence but most people are not present because it's like how do you stay present when you don't know who you are how do you stay present when you don't know what you are when you don't know what you want to do how do you stay present when there's something that you want in the future how do you stay present when you feel guilty for the past or bad about something you did in the past you can't forgive the past you can't move beyond the past like how do you stay present when you weren't happy right now it's like the reason people think into the future is to like get away from the right now so it's like how do you enjoy the right now if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing well something that i've learned and just i've been working on throughout the years is just like if you can just be in this exact moment like wherever you are if wherever you are, if just in that exact moment, if you can just like in that moment become self-aware enough to even just think about something that you're happy about, just like one thing, like, do you have water? Did you have water that day? You need water to survive. Did you have water? That's something to be happy about. 
did you have food? Did you have a, a meal to keep you sustained? Are you in love? Do you have someone that you can say you're in love with and you're in a happy relationship? Do you have a mom or a dad who loves you? Like, do you have a job that you like? Um, you don't have to be obsessed with your job if it's not your passion, but at least liking your job is awesome. So it's like, if you can just become self-aware enough, even for just like a split second, that is enough to just almost become muscle memory of like getting familiar with what it feels like to be present, to literally just look at what is right in front of you and be in that exact moment that you're in and just take a moment to be like, okay, this is something I got going for me. I don't know, I feel like for me personally, it's really hard to stay present when there's so many things that I want to be doing in the future. There's like so many things I wanna be doing and it's like, it's fun sometimes to fantasize and dream and that kind of thing, but also, you know, it's like you need a game plan to get there. You can't just always be thinking about, oh, one day when this happens, it's gonna be so awesome. It's like, well, you gotta take step one. Yeah, I don't know. It's just as far as like loneliness goes, I think what I've learned too is like I've felt really lonely in the past in situations where I felt really bad or guilty for feeling lonely because like I would be really lonely with friends or with a boyfriend or like with family even and I would feel really bad like I have love. I have people who love me and they're amazing people and I love them. So why do I feel lonely? And it's because I wasn't being myself and if you're not yourself, you cannot be what you're supposed to be. And so, I don't know, just the past couple of months, I really just started to ask myself, like, every day, like, who am I? Like, God, show me a sign. Like, show me what I want to be. Um, if you don't like the word God, I guess don't use that word. I don't know. Um, I'm not here to, like, preach. But I definitely do believe in, like, something greater than ourselves. And I think just kind of having not only faith in that, but also just, like, faith in yourself, unworthiness, and like not feeling like you deserve something all really comes from, you know, beliefs that you've picked up and you can unlearn them just as easily as you've learned them. Um, you can learn new beliefs just as easy as you've learned those old beliefs that just are not making you feel good about yourself. I don't know, I've just been thinking the past couple of days how sometimes I just like, Sometimes I just feel like when I have time to myself, I get really restless and like, it's really hard for me to actually do nothing. It's just hard for me sometimes. Like I don't, I don't like to sit and do nothing. And that's when I feel bored. That's when I feel lonely. That's when I feel lost. Like, ah, oh, I should be doing something else. Usually I should be doing something else and I'm just being insecure and I'm not doing it. But there have been times where I've just been doing nothing and I almost feel bad for that. And I just feel like, oh, like how do I, exist in this moment and appreciate this moment because there's people who would give anything like literally anything to have more time on this earth and i'll be i will admit i waste a lot of time like i've wasted a lot of time in the past i've wasted a lot of time being insecure bored lazy angry in fear and i just i don't want to waste time you know because it's a precious resource but I don't know, I just wanted to like the word vomit that really quick. I don't know if anyone has ever felt lonely. If you have, I would highly recommend just asking yourself the questions and just becoming more self-aware of like who you are. Like, are you doing something that doesn't make you happy? Are you doing something that you don't actually want to be doing? Do you feel bad or guilty for wanting to just spend time by yourself? Do you need some new friends? Do you need to go spend time in nature? Is there like a hobby that you've been wanting to start? I just feel like for me personally, like a lot of what I've learned is just like the more we can become self-aware of like why we're feeling the way that we're feeling, getting to know like who we are, life just becomes a lot happier because there's like patterns that happen, you know, it's like attracting the same kind of relationship, attracting the same kind of friend, attracting the same drama, attracting the same financial situation. There's always a root. And like once you can figure out the root of like when it first happened and like what the emotion is and then you can just start to like forgive it let go heal it and i just want to share that because i feel like the more that i ah, dropped my pen the more that i've just been like asking myself like what is it that i want to do and to be honest a lot of the things that i like to do are not quote unquote cool and a lot of other people would not enjoy to do them but like that's okay 
because I, I like them and they make me happy and a lot of it is like nerd stuff but that's okay because it's fun and I think in the past I was doing a lot of stuff that I really didn't want to do but I was just going along with what I with what it was because I thought that it was cool and I thought that like it made me cool and just like going along with what other people were doing and like hanging around certain people because I thought it was cool and I was just always like really lonely and alone feeling and it wasn't like they were bad people I just was not you know, being true to myself so I don't know I would just encourage anyone to just like jot down a couple things that you really 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 from your heart want to do not what your mom wants you to do not what your dad or boyfriend or girlfriend or not what society is telling you to do like actually like what do you want to do if you didn't have anyone telling you what to do if you just woke up one morning and you had the whole day off you had the whole day to yourself like just entertain this for a couple minutes just write it down like if you had the whole day off to yourself if you didn't have anyone to answer to if you could just do whatever you wanted and you knew that no one was judging you no one was watching like what would you do so i don't know i just wanted to share that have an amazing day whenever you are watching this and please make sure to like this video comment below and subscribe and what other things do youtubers say i don't know but anyways thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah!